You've effed me up so bad that I can't tell if it's a compliment or a comment coded in colonial control. You speak so well. You're really articulate. The best and worst thing ever said to me. You speak so well. What does that even mean? Is it the objective evaluation of my command over verbal communication and my ability to navigate a concept so vividly that others see my point in 4K HD? Or is it the audible surprise that a person opened their eyes and heard the white man's English orated so cleanly from a black man's lips? Or is it because my ancestral starting point led you to believe that complete sentences are a foreign concept to me and so anything I say resembling an SAT study word is met with praise? You speak so well. What does that even mean? The blacks say I speak white. The whites say I speak well. Both are correct. I bet if I stopped speaking white, it wouldn't go well because articulating outside the master's tongue means he's excluded and the system won't stand for that. Let me walk up in the office with my sudden twain, tell him how I'm fitting to go get me something to eat because I'm tired of looking at this his screen and they're going to be like, he's not professional enough. You speak so well. What does that even mean? Is it because I soften the blow when I explain things that would make you uncomfortable? When I justify the things that are sad but true rather than just saying shame on you? Is it because I make you feel better after you've done me wrong? Because when I really should speak up or hold my tongue, well, since I speak so well, let me speak so real. I pause when I speak so I can filter the pain, sparing you from the ugly truths mining inside so you only get the gold that results. I tell you stories to capture your attention because if I tell you facts, you'll ask for a citation and we know only the victor's history is passed on so my references of reality don't exist except in the oral tradition which you forbade. I take my time to translate every thought from my heart's dialect to English for your sake. But you realize you're getting the watered down version because the glory of my language can't be confined to the walls of grammar and syntax. My creativity and history and power are ready to roar to the mountaintops because we've been words to fit our needs the way Whitney Houston bent notes. Tune in our speech somewhere between the ebony and ivory piano keys when I ask you if you feel me. No hands are involved and sometimes, bruh, says it all. And when I start my story with... See, what had happened was, you know to really listen. And if I keep calling you fam and we ain't blood, we probably about to be fighting. Depending on how I call, watch out now. I might be ready to bust the move or bust heads. But instead of my rich, raw, righteous roar, you get the well-rehearsed whisper. And if your focus is for me to be articulate, I'll keep speaking well. And it will be all white. Just know you're missing so much of the story, but you're fine with that, white. And no, I don't have a list or any other speech impediment. So if your ears misheard this, just know I said it right.